Hey there, Steve with TUA Outdoors. So the next quick tip video I'm gonna show you. So you're probably like, why do you have your uh, laundry bag here? So this is actually the way I store all my sleeping bags and all my tents. So common mistake that a lot of people make because we wanna save space. I know I have a very tiny apartment, so it's kind of tough when I'm storing my gear is we wanna just leave everything in our stuff sack. But storing things in a laundry bag you can see it's mesh, so we got airflow. Um, I actually save the silica packs whenever I get something new that comes with the sil silica pack. I throw that in there so that helps with some of that moisture absorption um, because no matter how well you protect your stuff, there's always going to be a little bit of dampness and all that. I do launder my sleeping bag, don't worry, um, which again is a good habit to get into because the more of your body oils that get trapped in there, the less it's gonna keep you warm, um, especially since this specific bag here is a down bag. So you can see here, I also have my little camp pillow in there, and then I have a sleep sheet that just gives me a little bit of extra warmth. So I keep all that in the same bag so I know where, where I'm going. So this is my summer weight bag, so a little bit lighter weight. And then what I'm gonna do to maximize my packing here is I'm gonna grab the foot of the bag and I'm gonna carry it all the way down to the bottom of my stuff sack. Now, the reason they're called stuff sacks is because that's literally what you wanna do is, is stuff your gear into it. So a lot of times I'll see people that really try to fold and do fancy rolls and all that, um, which can work but that can also create wrinkles and um, different folds in there um, and take some more time. So literally you can just stuff things and it works pretty well. So I'm gonna make sure I get all the ex excess air out. And now I'm gonna use my minimum of three folds, but I can get a few extra in here just because the sleeping bag doesn't fill up this whole bag. So because I like to think about affordability, I use this compression sack for my, um, my 20 degree bag as well, which is a little bit heavier and bulkier for colder conditions. So I don't like to have two separate bags. So, but then I'm wasting some weight when I'm taking out my um, lighter weight summer bag, which I'm currently stuffing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and compress it. And I'm just evenly working my straps down using the ground to kind of give me that extra support. And I can even really crank down on it. And you can see how this is really cinching down everything and really compressing. So if I kept my bag stored like this, yeah, it would save me a lot of space, but this is gonna prevent that loft action from happening with my down bag. As you remember, in our layering video, you really want that war that loft to capture that heat. So you can see, real nice package that I can now put into my my uh, backpack.